My name is Susan McGregor and I'm an assistant professor with the Tao Center for Digital Journalism at Columbia Journalism School. Um, so data literacy is basically the ability to read numbers and graphics the same way that you would read text, text. and it's important for journalists to have that literacy because data is a really important source of information for journalism today. Um, more and more companies, individuals, organizations are releasing data as a way to communicate with the public and journalists have to be able to accurately assess and interpret that information uh, to better write their stories. Traditionally big data meant data that required a supercomputer to process um, and that's not really what we mean anymore. Big data is really more about being networked, about networked data now than it is um, about the actual size of the data. So you know that's why you can talk about big data when you talk about Coney 2012 um, or even big data when you talk about the kind of research um, you know that, that journalists do integrating multiple data sets, which might not individually be that large, um, but when you merge them together, you get a larger pattern that reveals something that you couldn't possibly have known otherwise. Well, big data has changed really every industry, so journalism isn't unique in that sense. Um, what's really unique for journalism is that we now have the kind of power tools um, at our disposal that make it feasible for us to work with data um, in a sort of real-time way. So. I tend to mark the, um, the Guardian's coverage of the London riots as a, a really important use of real-time data for storytelling um, and the fact that they were able to use data to sort of figure out what was happening uh, when nobody knew what was happening uh, with the UK riots. That, those kinds of tools being available in the newsroom and, um, and available to journalists to use have really changed the way that we think about journalism. Be critical of your data sources, you know. Um, I think the thing that I like to say is that, you know, data, using data is often like using the responses to an interview that someone else wrote. So you don't know necessarily what the, um, what the biases or objectives were that went into collecting a certain set of data. It's up to you as a journalist to research that, find out what the implications are, why were these particular questions asked, and what did the answers really mean. Um, just because it's a number, you know, to say that a number is true is the same way that quoting someone is true, right? But we know not to quote out of context. So very often data is um, made available to us in formats that is essentially out of context. And it's our job to make sure that we put it back into context as we use it and interpret it um, to make sure that we're doing so appropriately. Um, that's definitely a big thing. You know, another thing is that, again, data is just a source. You don't publish your notes online. You edit your notes, you edit your stories, you edit your data. Um, I think it's very popular to think that, you know, that it's like, what does the data say? You know, and data doesn't say anything. What it does, the only thing that it says is what the person who designed it, the person who chose the questions, the person who did the measurements, it, it says what they want to say, right? And that is a person, not some sort of disembodied truth. Um, so it's really important to understand that you know there's always an editing process that needs to go on and you should choose your data again the same way that you would choose quotations for a story you know you don't put in everything you know you put in the things that tell the story best don't be scared <laughs> really don't be scared uh, people often think that data journalism means you have to learn a lot of math and chances are you learn that math in seventh grade um, and it's totally okay to review it I honestly google the formula for a Z index every time I use one <laughs> and that's not that often but you know it just you know a lot of these are terms that you know median mean you know uh, distribution things like that and um, mostly it's about being, you know, it's about being careful, um, you know, it's about being thorough and methodical and documenting what you do and why. You know, you need to have a rationale. You have to be able to say, I made this choice for this reason, which is not something we always have to do when we choose an expert to quote or something like that. And so it's a little bit of a different process, but I firmly believe that anyone who is passionate about journalism can do this kind of work. Um, in my own class, I always open it up to all students. Um, and I think, you know, for folks who don't have as much exposure, you know, a lot of times the best ideas come from people who aren't kind of already um, locked into a particular perspective by 
previous experience with you know either digital journalism or data or anything like that. So yeah, don't be don't be scared, don't be intimidated. Just you know kind of check it out and um, and play around and ask questions and and you'll do fine.